next. So we're going to keep you informed, of course, all season long with the very latest when it comes to watches, warnings, and storm tracks. But there are a few things that we can go over now to remind you before the first real threat of the season arrives. All right, so let's run through the basics here. We want to make sure uh, that you are getting the most accurate forecast here. And the official word comes from the National Hurricane Center and the National Weather Service. And we share those updates here uh, on the Weather Channel. Know your alerts. Know what kind of alerts you could get. A tropical storm watch, a warning, what's the difference? We'll talk about that. Mm -hmm. Focus on potential impacts and know that hazards occur outside of the cone. Do not go cone crazy and focus just on that. Yeah, that might be one of the most important points to remember all season long out there. But you mentioned talking about uh, those watches and the warnings. Uh, well, of course, a lot of that is based on what's going on with these storms and the category, right? Mm -hmm. And these categories are all based on wind. Nothing else is considered but wind. And so you can see the categories starting with one all the way to five being the worst 157 mile per hour winds or greater that of course can cause catastrophic damage all right and so based on the wind contained in a storm if it's still a tropical storm and not yet a hurricane there could be tropical storm watches issued and that's when sustained winds of 39 to 73 miles per hour were possible within 48 hours transition to a warning when those kind of winds are expected within 36 hours and the same can be said when you start talking about moving up to a hurricane watches and warnings again it's all about the possibility within 48 that's a watch expectation 36 hours there when you get a warning the wind the size of the hurricane the water and the bathymetry of the seafloor underneath it all of that can contribute to how much surge that a storm a hurricane can create and so there are watches and warnings for storm surge as well a watch issued when it's possible within 48 hours here a warning when it's expected within 36 hours all right so of course uh with these systems they bring with it the other risk being big time flooding right and when you start talking about these tropical systems Oftentimes, you can end up dealing with whether or not high risk days for floodings, and they account for 39% of all flood deaths, and that can happen with these systems.